Life is meant to be lived, not watched. To get started living your own life, rather than watching others live theirs, consider television's impact on your life. Let me jump right in with 10 reasons to watch less television. Number one, it is influencing your worldview. Anybody who has ever been a policeman, a lawyer, a psychiatrist, an ER doctor, or an FBI agent will attest to the truth that television does not accurately portray life. In almost all aspects, television rarely depicts the world and life accurately. Too much television results in disillusionment about what to expect from the world around us. This can also commonly be seen in people's expectations of love, romance, money, and sexuality. Number two, it is influencing your spending habits. If you think you are immune or too smart to be influenced by the power of advertisements, you are wrong. Corporations don't spend billions of dollars in advertising hoping to influence you. They spend billions of dollars because they know they will influence you. Number three, television is taking you away from the real people all around you. The characters on television are not real. They're thought up in an office building and given life on a piece of paper. In contrast, you are surrounded every day by real people living real lives. These real people are facing real problems. They need you and you need them. Why would we ever spend our lives more invested in fake problems on television than real problems in the world around us? Number four, it is robbing you of precious mental energy. When your television is on, your concentration is held hostage. Your mental energy is drawn into the screen and your ability to control it is given up. Number five, television is costing you money. Americans spend over $6 billion per year just paying for the electricity to power their TVs. Add in the cost of cable, satellite, streaming services, movie subscriptions, peripherals, and we're starting to talk about real money for every single one of us. Number six, it impairs your capacity for rational thought. TV always oversimplifies reality. It presents subjects in a matter of minutes and everything is wrapped up nicely in a bow at the end. This harms clear thinking by conditioning us to expect that most problems have a simple, clear solution that can be implemented in 60 minutes or less, but life doesn't work that way. Number seven, it's bad for your health. Numerous studies draw direct parallels between excessive television watching and obesity. I'll link to them in the description below. Number eight, it results in less satisfaction and overall lower well-being with life. According to the Journal of Economic Psychology, TV viewers report lower life satisfaction and more anxiety. Number nine, it results in less intimacy. Couples who keep a TV in the bedroom have sex half as often as those who don't. And if you ask me, that should be reason enough. Number 10, its opportunity cost is too great. Based on studies from 2020, the average American spends more than four hours a day watching TV. That's time you could have spent exercising, eating a meal together, entertaining, enjoying nature, meditating, enjoying a hobby, reading a book, or fulfilling a dream. I'm not against watching the occasional television show, movie, or sporting event, but I think we'd all benefit from watching a little bit less.